Hello and welcome to another Lightboard on the white label topic. Today we wanted to quickly cover how easy it is to sign up for a white label contract together with us in the Comdivision system. So the first and easiest starting point for you is you fill out our contact form, which we are going to link um, below the video. And this will actually give you access to all the steps which are going to follow up afterwards. Once this form is actually going to be filled out, the next thing is go what's going to happen is you will receive an email. And that email contains, um, on one hand, all kinds of links, for example, to videos, meetings, which you can set up with us, additional documents, which might be relevant for you, and so forth. In parallel, we are also going to send to you an NDA document. So this is the NDA document, uh, which is a mutual NDA between you and us, which is the baseline because throughout the documentation and startup process, we might discuss your infrastructure and other things so that we just are both covered. If you filled out during the form that you want to use your own NDA, we are going to ask you to send that one in. So. Once these two things are in place, uh, the next thing is going to happen more or less in parallel. We are going to send you the contract document. Which is basically uh, going to give you the ability to review the contract while we are um, setting up the next steps. What's next, Sasha? Yeah, included in the first steps there are also the quote. So you get your prices so that you know how much to pay for the different, um, yeah, cores, NSX, ALB, whatever you need. Uh, you will get the complete overview about that. And then after you have um, received the NDA and the contract, in most um, scenarios, we will have a meeting. So we will meet each other in a Zoom meeting um, within two, three, four hours. That's absolutely not a problem. We will discuss all of these different uh, contracts. If you have questions about the pricing, payment terms, about the NDA contract, and about the next steps, so we will um, yeah talk about it and find a solution for all of your questions. And after the meeting, you will, so let's say we meet. Next step is you will sign the uh, contract and the NDA. And with that, if after you have finished that, you will receive a transaction document from us. So in the tra transaction document, there is written how many cores do you need, how many um, NSX licenses do you need? How many v additional visa licenses do you need? How many ALB? How many TKG? Whatever. That's all in the portfolio. And um, after you have, uh, and also don't forget the service packs and support. So we have three different um, scenarios how you can buy support from us service pack zero, service pack one, service pack two. So take a look at the other videos about the service packs. All is included in the transaction document. And basically, once all of these tasks are completed, you are basically um, all the paperwork pieces are up and running and done. So we can basically start preparing the documents together with Broadcom, ensure that you are signed up in all the system, license keys are being generated by Broadcom and everything else. That process is basically set. So what we can now do is basically um, do more like the technical onboarding. One piece out of that is we are going to reply replace your existing usage meter. So um, as you might have seen and as you might have read in all the documentation, usage meter needs to be under the control of the white label host, which does not mean that we are going to control your vCenter permissions and everything else. That is going to be set up jointly and um, in your infrastructure. Yeah. And the important part is um, we need to make sure that the um, usage meter is installed in your environment. So we will install it together. So we will enter the passwords and you will 
configure the system uh, or configure the system. We together will configure the system in a Zoom session. We will not have access direct to the usage meter. That's not required from our side. So that can run in your environment. We don't need a VPN or whatever to access directly. If we have questions to the usage meter, if there is a problem with the metering or whatever, we will open a support case, we'll inform you that we need a meeting and then we can take a look together. The next thing which we also need to do is, and this is basically time critical, we need to replace the license keys. So uh, one of the steps and um, the latest information was always talking about the 30th of September where all the license keys have to be replaced. So we need to go together with you in your systems and actually replace the, or you can replace the license keys, but you need to tell us which license keys you need, how many of them you need so that we can basically generate them for you and actually put them in place um, on your system. That's very important because um, we currently don't know if you say you will commit to 2000 cores. We don't know if all of this, all of these cores are in the same vCenter. Do you have vSphere 8? Do you have vSphere 7 running or maybe vSphere 6 running? So we need to, uh, yeah, talk to you, have a dedicated list of how many license keys, how split it, what version do you need? And keep in mind that Broadcom clearly says you can only have the, uh, the current version and the latest two major versions. All our service providers already are getting lists from us which clearly showcase which license keys you can actually ask to be created. This is no choice from us. This is nothing we can influence. Broadcom basically defines that. And this is important for you to replace that in your systems because in the end, the license key is going to define whether you are overusing or not overusing your infrastructure. So better be sure that this is all in place. And third point, what's missing? The end customer. We need to document the end customers in the VCF portal. That's a requirement from Broadcom. So that means uh, we need the end user data from you. So the name and address and the primary mail domain to um, yeah, fill it in the systems of Broadcom. That's very important because if Broadcom get in contact with a customer and Broadcom can directly see, hey, there is a VMware partner on this customer, though they will reach out to us. We have our list, we can reach out to you and you can have, yeah, a better experience together with Broadcom in the future with the customer. So as you can see, the process is more or less, I mean, automated from the top procedure, depending on how many discussions we need to have about the quotation process and everything else. Uh, we are more or less straightforward and all of this can basically be completed in less than 24 hours. Keeping in mind the timelines, um, end of September, most of our providers have been informed by Broadcom. They need to actually be um, in good compliance again by then. So we can only suggest for you to look into that. If your current host is actually struggling in doing any of these three items, you better check back uh, very closely with them because they might not have a contract. As we have seen just in Las Vegas, um, Broadcom said there are 250 people who actually signed the contracts, but there were 400 on the white label list. So not all of them are even offering white label um, scenarios. So better be, uh, better be sure that whoever you are partnering with is under an active contract with Broadcom because Again, other message which we got from Broadcom, who is currently not signed up as a Premier or Pinnacle partner, might not be signed up anymore. So um, do yourself a favor, check that all of this is being put in place in your systems. And if not, please ping us, please contact us. We are here to help. We can also help you potentially uh, to get out of the existing contract and actually sign up with Communision. See you soon. See you.